Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. In this video, I will show you how to solve draws using the method of section. In the previous video, we have learned the method of joints to solve the draws where you have to deal with the static equilibrium equation at point only. But here, in the method of section, we have to cut the draws analytically through some of the members that expose the members forces inside it. You have to cut the straws using an imaginary section passing through some of the members. As the section has some finite dimensions, so an extra equilibrium equations. In method of joints, there is only two equilibrium equations like summation of h equals to zero, summation of b equals to zero. But here, there is an extra equilibrium equation of moment equals to zero. As you can see, there is three equilibrium equations it means these three equilibrium equations can solve to a maximum of three unknown forces that's why while cutting the section you have to keep in mind that the section should not pass through more than three members at a time now coming to the sign convention when a force is coming from a joint it is tension and towards the joint it is compression Keep it in mind. And another convention while using the method of section is all the forces that are obtained by cutting the section, treat them as tensile force that is coming out of the joint. In this example, we will solve these member forces. So what will be the section like this? It should pass like this. It is section xx. Before going into the detailed method of section analysis, you first have to determine the reaction forces of the whole structure. This is a pin joint. So here will be two reaction forces. It is the RA and is a horizontal HA. And this is it is a roller section, so on the vertical reaction. Let's find out the reaction forces by solving equilibrium equations, the whole structure. Equating the vertical forces, there's the upward forces R and R E, then downward forces are 25 plus 10. Now solving the horizontal forces, you see there is only one horizontal force, so it will be zero. And to find out RA or RE, you have to take the moment from any point. Let us take a moment about point A. The force RE is creating an anticlockwise moment. So RE into the perpendicular distance is the whole distance that is 20. And the clockwise moments are 25 into this distance 10 plus this force 10 this distance 15. So you get RE equals to 20. So, Ra will be 35 minus 20, this 15. So, you have got the reaction forces. I have to determine these sectional forces of these three members. So, I have to draw the section through these members. And the section is xx. Now, you have to separate it out and have to draw the free body diagram you can either use the right hand side or left hand side we are here using only the left hand side so right uh, so draw the free body diagram it is the reaction ra point a b h and the forces should be in tension in the free body diagram like this it is coming away from the joints the, this force 
write down f h towards the point g so f h g this force f h c and this one is f b c that is the angle is 45 degree 45 degree. this geometry will help you to um, create the equilibrium equation now we have to write the equilibrium equations summation of v equals to zero that is equating the vertical forces so r a is in the upward direction and the cos component of f a c is the downward direction so r a minus the cos component of a c f a c is f a c cos 45 it will be equals to zero so you get f a c into 1 by 2 is the cos 45 equals to r a the value is 15 so you get f a c equal to 15 root 2 you have solved one unknown forces let's write another equilibrium equation of summation h equals to zero you see there is three forces in horizontal direction this f a g f b c and the sine component of f a c R write the equation f a g plus sine component of f a c f a c you have known that is 15 root 2 its sine component the sine 45 is also on by uh, root 2 plus f b c equals to 0 so you have got an equation a g plus f b c is equals to minus 15 now we have left with one equilibrium equation that is moment so to write down the moment equation you should you have to be careful that the point you have choose you have to choose all the unknown forces except one should pass through that point it means if you take moment about this point f h you see f a c f a g pass through the point so you can easily get a b c so write down the moment equation the a b c into the distance this five It is the anti-clockwise direction the clockwise moment is r a into the perpendicular that is this distance it is also five so you get a b c equals to r a that is 15. now you have to calculate f a g you have got f a g plus a b c equal to 15 so in that from that equation it will be minus 15 minus a b c is minus 15 so minus 30. so you have got the unknown forces if a g equals to 30 it is as it is negative it is compressive So we have got the unknown forces like this. If you want to solve other member forces, you have to carry out this process by taking sections like this, like this. And at last you have come to such a point then it will be equivalent to method of joints. Hope you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and 
don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching see you in the next video